to the latest on that devastating fire in New Hartford. A historic building destroyed businesses. Now they're uh, lost. Dozens now homeless. Good afternoon. I'm Mackenzie Maynard. A burned out shell is all that remains of New Hartford's 171 year old historic centerpiece. The three alarm blaze tearing through what's known as the New Hartford House. The fire starting early this morning. The good news everyone inside did make it out alive. News 8's Kent Pierce has been covering the story all morning. He brings us the latest from downtown New Hartford. It's been at the center of New Hartford for 170 years and home to almost two dozen people. But at 2.26 a.m. it went up in flames. We heard a big pow and that's when the window it must have exploded and the flames and the backdrop came shooting in the window and we grabbed our son and he grabbed the dog. We all grabbed each other and just ran out the house. And so did everyone else. Fire officials say they believe everyone got out safely except for one pet hamster. Firefighters from all over worked quickly to make sure the flames did not spread to nearby buildings including Town Hall which is right next door. Between uh, departments on scene and activated for standby we have 29 departments currently activated for this scene. While the brick facade along Route 44 remained, the News 8 drone got a look from above. There's nothing behind those bricks except a burned out black hole. The entire building collapsed in on itself during the fire. Three firefighters were treated for injuries. There were 14 apartments and six businesses in there. All 22 residents now have to find a new place to live. The American Red Cross helping out with that. We want to make sure that people have a safe place to go and we're going to connect them with the local resources here in New Hartford and in the northwest corner. While the people who lived here lost everything, the loss of the building will be felt by everyone in town. This was the place to come for special events and the town's first selectman knows that firsthand. 25 years ago I had dinner there with my wife before I asked her to marry me. Uh, there's many stories like that. This has been the gathering point, the hub, the center of New Hartford for many, many years and right now uh, we're all devastated. The first selectman says the building was actually just purchased by a new owner about a month ago. Now the selectman says he's going to have to work with that new owner to try to figure out what the future holds for this important piece of property. In New Hartford, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.